I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Why me? Travel where? Don't you get it? There's nothing left! How did you... What? What do you mean, mend the rift? Well, maybe I don't wanna. Huh? Did you think of that? Oh, you can't tell them about the flesh! But I did! They'd kill me if they knew! Ah, shit! If you're gonna talk to your imaginary friends, Stu, you might want to wait till you're in a Z-free zone. Stop the jar! Get over here, now! Come on, come on! What do we do now? We arm up, find a good place to defend, kick ass, that's it. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Stuinger? Misty made it pretty clear. Except for fate, begin a new. We're going down. We're going down. Fight. Now! Have we been here before? Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It's your boy King Bandicoot, and welcome to Die Rise's Retrospective. It's been a while. It's been about. Like last I checked, it was nine days since the Nuketown retrospective, and we're back with Die Rise. And then Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll do Mob of the Dead. Depends. Depends how I am. We may do it Friday. I don't know. Um, you know the schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, yeah, let's start Die Rise off with some new things. Starting off with the map layout. So, uh, Die Rise is like, I don't really know how to describe it, three buildings? It's like... The Twin Towers, but with three of them, and they're somewhat destroyed, not collapsed fully. Um, and there's elevators, glitched elevators and stuff, um, but that's not, the, the, the map layout's fine. Let's get to the, the, the new, let's get to the wonder weapon for the map, the Sliquifier. The Sliquifier is a, is like a, how do I describe this? It's like a soap dispenser gun kind of thing. It's like a Tide Pod gun. Shoots this purple liquid, which sends you sliding faster than... Sends you sliding faster than Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic Adventure 2 with his speed shoes or whatever they are. Um, yeah, the the weapon originally was way tougher than it is in the actual uh, final version. Because there was like a nerf uh, in the early days of Die Rise. But that's not, that's not what we're on about today. Uh, next thing, the return of the Victus crew. Die Rise brung, us ba brung back the Victus crew. Uh, if you don't remember who the Victus crew has, it has Misty, Marlton, Stuinger, and Russman. Uh, and they return from transit. Um, and Die Rise, not Die Rise, but uh, Nuketown shed some light on one of the characters, Marlton. Uh, the bunker in Nuketown, if you throw a grenade at it or knife it, uh, you can hear Marlton's voice inside, which is really cool as an Easter egg telling us that Nuketown happens right before Transit, and then Transit and Die Rise take place. Let's start next with the intro. This uh, Die Rise's intro is actually the first ever intro in Zombies history. That's a lie, actually. I just thought about that. No, that would go to five. Five was the first one with the... Five and then call of the dead. This was the third intro. I don't know why I said that, but the intro is was the first. I think the reason why I thought it was the first is because it was the first, um, like drawn. Well, they're all drawn, so first like comic book looking one. The elevators. So the elevators are um, in Die Rise. You take one down to get to the place where you build the slick fire and turn on the power, and get the three perks or maybe pack a punch. Um, the elevator system's really cool and all, but sometimes it's a pain in the ass, um, which can lead into the next thing, easy deaths on the, on die rides. On die rides, you can die very easily, being jumping from a high place onto the pillows, or just dying instantly from an area, or the elevator's crushing you, or you falling, or you slipping off the map with the sliquifier. It really doesn't matter, this map is a very easy death trap. But, you know, some things are some things. The intro explanation. Okay, so in the intro, we see Stuinger teleported back to Die Rise probably after a round or something, because that's usually what happens after a round. You spawn back if you're dead and spectating. 
and he hears a voice telling him to listen and that he has to turn on the power to the power station of Die Rise for him. And and Stillinger asks him what if he doesn't and he shows him a vision of the flesh meaning that he was going to blackmail him into the gr in, for the Victus crew saying that if he didn't do what Richtofen wanted he would show the Victus crew how he eats human flesh and if you don't understand what I'm talking about Stuhlinger was in a group known as the flesh that a zombie's flesh and that's what makes him able to talk to Richtofen and Richtofen blackmailed him saying if you don't turn on all the power stations and die rise transit and buried I will show the Victus crew exactly what you've been doing new buildables yes there are new buildables like the um, Tramplestein and a couple others but that new buildables there's new buildables on the map yeah uh, transit has new build not transit die rise has new buildables let's talk about the new perk on the map who's who who's who is a perk that when you die uh, it's not it's kind of like quick revive but you actually got to revive yourself so like quick revive except it's infinite and uh, you basically spawn as a ghost with a pistol so you can be at like round 100 something and die with who's who and spawn back and be with a fucking pistol that's about it and then die um, yeah it's a very shitty perk I don't like it maybe if we're talking cold war oh wait no and I guess it'd be cold war depends cause you know cause you know tombstone got replaced with who's who so eh do with what you'll do with what do with what you'll do with the Cold War version. Zombies talk. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you, when you're playing a Stuhlinger on either a multiplayer or a solo game, a Die Rise, every so often you can hear the zombies ask for help or you'll just hear them talking. It's really creepy and it just shows how creepy the Zombies franchise has come so far from World at War, Black Ops 1, and now Black Ops 2 so far. It's really creepy. Stuhlinger x Richtoff, and if you don't know what this means, this isn't some weird uh, fan fiction, at least not that I know of, or porno, or any like hentai or anything. This is talking about how Stuhlinger is the only one who's able to hear Richtofen, and being that he can hear Richtofen, and they're practically best buds on Richtofen's side. Other than that, there's really nothing else I can talk about. No trap. Oh, wait, actually. Damn, they're, they're very forgettable, but let's talk about the jumping jacks. You guys know of the Nova Crawlers from Five and uh, Kino. They are in Die Rise, except they do not... Oh, and from Moon. But in Die Rise, they jump. Like, they bounce. They bounce. Yeah, they bounce like they're on a trampoline or something. They're really easy to kill, and you get a max ammo from them after killing them all. And if you don't miss a bullet, then you get a perk, which is most of the time where people use Galvin Knuckles on them to get the free perk. Other than that, let's move on to the Easter egg. Starting with the Rick Tuff inside of the Easter egg. Well, as I said last time, we're only naming off the steps of the Easter egg. Step one for the Rick Tuff inside of the Easter egg is the nav card table. You have to build the nav card table and insert the nav card. Step two, the elevators. There's symbols on the elevators somewhere that you gotta do someone something. Plates. Step four, dragons, and those are the four things that happen with uh, both of them. Step five, balls. Step six, tramplestein. Step seven, mahjong, and then step eight, you're finished. But step seven is where you're actually finished with the Easter egg. So yeah, uh, let's move on to the Maxis side of the Easter egg. Max's side of the Easter egg is the nav card table, elevators, plates, dragons, ballistic knife, mahjong, and then f you're done at step six. So there's six steps with Maxis and seven with Richtofen. Meaning that Richtofen's is more challenging than Maxis, but in the end, you're probably going to get a trophy or like an achievement from something from it. But yeah, that was the Die Rise retrospective. I really enjoy this map. I know there's some people like Tim Hansen and a couple others in the community that really dislike this map, but I don't know why. It's a really, it's a really fun, innovative map, and I feel like it changed zombies in a good way. 
I feel like Transit and Nuketown weren't really the best maps. Nuketown, yet yeah, it showed new players like how to train and everything, and it was good for new players. And Transit, well, Transit was just Transit. We don't talk about Transit. Um, but Diamond Rise, I feel like, just powered zombies for the rest of the way through BO2 because every map after, after uh, Nuketown, so Diamond Rise, Buried, Mob, Buried, Mob of the Dead, Origins, the last four maps were just good maps. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. This was King Bandicoot, and I will see you in the next retrospective being Mob of the Dead. Bye. The things that I wanna do. I don't give a fucking shit about you.